What is up? It's your boy Johnny Shreve, aka Mr. Tell Like It Is. With the 2024 Mr. Olympia wrapped up, we have yet another multiple Mr. Olympia champion in Chris Bumstead. So where does he sit in the most influential bodybuilders of all time? Well guys, in this video, I'm going to rank the most influential bodybuilders ever. Let's get into it. This is what the parameters are based on. It's not just included to just the open class bodybuilders, it is to those who have won multiple championships. Bodybuilding class physique in 212. Number one, impact on the sport. How did they change the game? Two, monetary success. Bodybuilding is one of those sports where you ain't doing it to, to make money. You're doing it because you love doing it. And you're hoping that possibly you could be one of those lucky guys like the gentleman I'm gonna mention to become super famous, popular, um, have multiple businesses. And last but not least, influence and popularity. Let's just go from the start, from top to bottom. And I'm pretty sure you can guess who the first person is. And it's obviously Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger, timeless. If there's anybody who lived the American dream to the absolute fullest, Arnold Schwarzenegger is that guy. Every one of these quarter centuries he's lived, he's done something absolutely amazing. From one to 25, from 25 to 50, from 50 to 75, and he's on the last quarter of his life, he's done everything. An athlete, a movie star, a governor, uh, a philanthropist, uh, he's done it all, absolutely done it all. Without Arnold Schwarzenegger, there is no bodybuilding. He was the first one to make it cool, to bring more eyes to it, but also the first person to, to take bodybuilding and make something out of it. Not necessarily just from his competing standpoint, but going from competing and using his popularity he gained from competing to going into acting and then going into the government, into politics. One of the most famous people on the planet Earth. His Instagram, 24 million. His monetary success, obviously, man, dude's like, I don't know, like, I don't know how accurate this is, but like, you know, you know he's probably worth 500 million plus or some shit like that. Like, he ain't hurting, I'll tell you that right now. He's not worried about his bills. So, number one, obviously, is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Number two in the list, who do you think it is? Chris Bumstead. When it comes to recognizable faces, just from that point standpoint, right now, Chris Bumstead is like a worldwide recognizable face. Now, is he as recognizable as Ronnie Coleman? No. But then when you're looking at the entire criteria, Arnold Schwarzenegger has 24 million followers on Instagram. Chris Bumstead is arguably the most compared to Arnold Schwarzenegger bodybuilder there has ever been. Everybody at some point has been compared to Arnold Schwarzenegger, whether it was compared to from wins or compared to as body types. Chris Bumstead is like the guy that literally stepped into the sport, changed the game. So when we're talking about the criteria that I have placed here, Chris Bumstead literally made classic physique popular. The only difference between Arnold Schwarzenegger and Chris Bumstead is age. Because Chris Bumstead's at a point now where he can do exactly what he did. Number three on the list is Ronnie Coleman. 100% has got to be there. Because again, when it comes to influential in the sport, changing the game, number one. Now we can arguably say that Dorian changed the game in terms of like Dorian was the first guy to bring mass into bodybuilding. Mass, 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 bodybuilding, body. Like that was, he was the first real mass monster in bodybuilding. Ronnie came in with like mass times 10. I don't have to say much about that. The dude is timeless and he's 60 years old and he's still showing up to shows. But when Ronnie came in the game, Ronnie is the reason why there is a bunch of massive freaks in bodybuilding. That is the reason why we have 300 pound bodybuilders at the Olympia. Ronnie Coleman. Was Ronnie Coleman, you wouldn't have that size. Did he bring more eyes to the sport? Of course he did. Everybody wanted to see Ronnie Coleman. Everyone wanted to see the 300 pound plus striated glute aesthetic Ronnie Coleman. I remember the first time I heard, yeah buddy, it was at practice. And I remember everyone at practice was going, yeah buddy. And I was like, I was like, yeah, yeah buddy. And I, I never really realized it until I saw the first video of him. I'm like, oh my God, that's what they were doing the entire time they're saying what he does. People trained harder, trained heavier, ate more, did more because of Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman is still very popular and his YouTube channel is on over millions and he's still doing like he's active, like the dude's awesome. And next up on the list, we have Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler, I would say, would be the guy who, again, when it comes to, you know, change the game, he was a guy that brought mass with a little class. The biggest thing that I believe that Jay Cutler did, he was the first real represent representative and ambassador of the sport. 
if it wasn't for Jay Cutler, you wouldn't really think of being a real ambassador for bodybuilding. An entrepreneur, a leader, Jay Cutler is that guy. When you look at Chris Bumpson and what he's doing, you you're, you're, he's doing it because you watch guys like Jay take the sport and make it as successful as it was for himself. That's what Jay Cutler did with bodybuilding. Jay is not just like a, I, I won money from bodybuilding. It's his real estate, you know, with his farmery or back in the, with his family, you know, his investments, his companies, all the things like that. That is why that framework is what everybody is trying to achieve as a bodybuilder. If it wasn't for Jay Cutler, we would have a bunch of people just trying to win shows and that's it. I believe that, I 100% believe that. When it came down to this, I had to be like, yo man, we gotta, we, we gotta add a 212 guy in there. It's obviously gonna be Flex Lewis. Flex Lewis has seven Mr. Olympia 212 titles. Now I'm very familiar with this because it's a friend of mine and I remember when they first started the 202 class and then switched to the 212. I remember Flex Lewis's entire career. So when it comes to changing the game, yes, there is a, the reason why there's a 212 and why it's popular is because Flex Lewis. The sport would be different if you didn't have these guys in the sport. And that's why this list is here. Flex Lewis had a massive amount of influence on the sport. 2.5 million on Instagram, 250 something on YouTube. Very active, he's, he's killing it. Number six on the list, Phil Heath. Now, Phil Heath has seven Mr. Olympias. We can argue and say, and this will be probably up for debate, but Phil Heath was probably the best, most freakiest bodybuilder physique of all time. Now you got like Ronnie Coleman and he has the, the mass and he was massive, but like the shape, the look, the everything, Phil was like the perfect combination of a bunch of great bodybuilders. He's got some, he's got a little bit of flex wheeler in him. He's got a little bit, of Kevin Leverone. He's got a little bit of, you know, Ronnie Coleman. He's just got everything in one. Now, what makes him not as popular as everybody else? I just don't think he was as active as everybody else. And he wasn't as like, people like him way more now than they did when he was competing. And, and that just goes to like how much of a competitor that he was. He was a pure competitor. But regardless, we cannot argue the influence that he had on the sport. Now rounding off the end of the list, we have Dorian Yates. Guys, Dorian Yates, if there's no Dorian Yates, there's no Ronnie Coleman. If you take this butterfly effect, you take some of these guys out, this entire sport's F. So Dorian Yates being the first guy to, here's how you gotta train. Here's the here's the blood and guts, literally it's one of his one of his VHS cassette, you know, training tapes, but there was a post that was up yesterday and it was a awesome picture. And this is what gave me the idea for this video. And it was a picture of Ronnie Coleman, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Phil Heath on like, you know, on the stairs. And then there's Chris Bumps at the bottom. Everyone's like commenting like, hey, where's this guy at? Where's this body? Where's this bodybuilder? <laughs> and someone's like, where's Dorian Yates? And then Brandon Harding is like, commented, was like guys who won multiple Sandows. And we're all like, what? Like, dude. Your Dorian Yates only is like Dorian Yates only won one. He's like, bro, Dorian Yates won seven Sandows, and he's from your area. Do your homework and understand the history of the sport. Sheesh, he changed the game. If it wasn't for Dorian Yates, no one would be pushing the size. Now we can say it's negative or positive. I think it's a positive. It's a massive positive. Anytime someone comes into a sport and dominates, it makes everybody that much better. Dorian Yates sells 1.6 million on Instagram, and there you go. And last but not least, you have Lee Haney, number eight. Now again, guys, Lee Haney is in his almost, I think in his 70s, 80s now? You understand, like, influence. That is a Mr. a multi-winning Mr. Olympia, eight consecutive titles, and he was a specimen of pure aesthetics. And if there wasn't a Lee Haney, there's no Lee Labrada. There's no Sean Ray. There's no Kevin Leverone. There's no Flex Wheeler. That's the list. I want to get your multiple winning Mr. Olympias, put them together and see who ranks as influential and on. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Since there's only eight here and there probably could have been 10, let me know who those other two people could have been. Let me know. Anyway guys, until next time, you know it is. Iron Chevron's Iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.